I love patchouli and vanilla. I think it's such a lovely marriage when patchouli and vanilla just intertwine and they work so beautifully together and I love that. welcome back to my channel thank you so much for watching so if you've been before thank you so much for returning and if you're new first time watching my videos please make sure to like and subscribe it's always always appreciated I'm trying to grow my channel so everyone's support really means a lot so hit that subscribe button <laughs> anyway let's dig into it in today's video we are talking top five long lasting fragrances and these are fragrances based on what I've got in my collection, what performs for me the best on my skin. So without further ado, let's dig into it. Starting off with Pirates. So this is Pirates by Byron Perfume. So the bottle is just a clear bottle. Nothing too fancy. It's all about the juice and just the cup and just goes back like that and this is again in extract form so this is extract the parfums so quite obviously being an extract fragrance you I would say almost automatically assume it should be really really good performing and this does not disappoint and this is one of the fragrances that were released uh, this is from last year 2018 from the house of Byron's it's quite a new house on the market so they haven't been going for too long and so far they've only got five fragrances in their collection and this is one of the fragrances from their first collection so there's this one which I love so much so how does pirate smell this is a lovely floral oriental mask fragrance and i love this you know the notes oh, anyone who knows me who watches my channel knows i love these notes so you've got on the top you've got pear you've got bergamot oh sparkling bergamot yes please you've got bergamot you've got jasmine tuberose you've got hilang hilang and then you've got patchouli and then there's mask and amber can you just see it? Can you smell it? Ah, the combination of amber and patchouli, oh, some masks in there. That It's such a lovely brand and honestly this is in a league of its own. It's in a league of its own. Great scent. It's a great fragrance. Smells are amazing. I'm already wearing stuff so I don't want to... This. Oh, do you know what if you've watched my other videos I've talked about this before on my channel if you've watched my other Byron perfumes videos you can find where I've talked about it so love this fragrance so that's pirates coming in at number five moving on to number four we've got La Vie Belle La Vie Belle by Lancome OMG again this is another beautiful floral fragrance this is this is one of my best vanilla fragrances i love this fragrance and do you know what <sighs> this is stunning when i talk about and stunning fragrance at some point i think this was my signature scent because i wore it so much such that i'll leave my scarf at work <laughs> even if i'm not there someone walks in and oh scarf someone will sniff it oh it's myers <laughs> i love this fragrance amazing and again oh this fragrance this fragrance i must mention is one of i would say my best fragrances for winter i love this in the winter springtime it's very you know when it's cold it just wraps you around oh, the vanilla in this it like i said it's one of my best vanillas i love this the vanilla in this is absolutely amazing so scent profile on this one so we've got um some magnolia essence there's iris there's orange blossom we've got 
jasmine, there is tonka bean, patchouli and vanilla and anyone who knows me knows how much I love patchouli in a fragrance. I love patchouli and you know what, speaking of patchouli, I've got a pure patchouli review fragrance coming up soon so stay tuned for that because I think for me I'm always like how does patchouli smell on its own you know so when I came across this fragrance I was like yes so I'm looking forward to do that review I've been sampling a lot of stuff so stay tuned for a lot of reviews so yeah so this is again La Vie et Belle by Lancome and this is Lancome's best selling female fragrance and it's for a good reason performance, projection, sillage, I mean you carry a bag, it's in your bag, you take it out, you've spread yourself on a scarf, on a jacket, you've left it, two weeks later you come back, it's there. How good is that? Worth the money and it's a lovely bottle, not too feminine, I think the bottle just makes it a bit more feminine but it's not like your girly girly feminine you know what I mean it's big girl things but then it's a fragrance that appeals to you know a variety of ages so if you're in your teens you could still rock this you're in your 20s in your 30s in your 40s in your 50s you could still wear this that's how good it is and I know a lot of men that love this fragrance as well so that's La Via Belle at number four Moving on to number three, we've got another beauty from Byron Perfumes. So if you follow my Instagram or you're on my Facebook, then you know already how much I love Mula Mula. Ah, oh, Mula Mula is heavenly. Don't take my word for it. Try it. Sample it for yourself. Mula Mula for me was a blind buy. I only bought this one because everyone was raving about that and I was like, you know what? It's the people whose reviews I trust and they've got sort of similar tests to what I like. So let me give it a go and I did. OMG. And when I when I sampled it, I was like, I think I did <laughs> a video on this initial impressions. I was just like, oh my gosh, this is so amazing. It is amazing. Mula Mula is absolutely stunning a fragrance. It's spicy, gourmand. It's everything I love in a fragrance. It's everything I love in a fragrance. Performance, sillage, the projection. And you know what I love even most about this? Like Richie, I've not met anyone where I live who, who will smell me and think, oh, I know that. Like Richie, every time I wear it, I'm being asked, oh wow, that's so nice, what is it? I'm like, it's Mula Mula. Oh, I've never heard of it. I'm like, oh yeah. And I love that. How nice is it? When you're the only unique smelling person in a place, it is amazing. And again, this is unisex, though there's some men that have said, in as much as they love it, they don't want to wear it because it comes across a bit too sweet for their tastes, etc. But a lot of men love this and longevity on this is insane. Like, it's insane. Goes on forever. Like, there's never been a day where I've worn it and having to respray or it wears off before I have a shower. Like, every time, a good 12 hours this will go, a good 12 hours is still there. It is that good. Yes, so Mula Mula. So the notes on this, you've got um, peach, red fruits, you've got saffron, there's some caramel. Yes, please, caramel. Yes. You've got some cypria oil or nagamatha. Then there's pink pepper, there's ginger. Ugh, can you just see the combination? It's amazing. Then you've got oud, then there's some benzoin, and then you've got musk, there's uh, some peru balsam. You've got patchouli and vanilla. Did I not just talk about patchouli and vanilla? Yes, please. I love patchouli and vanilla. I think it's such a lovely marriage when patchouli and vanilla just intertwine and they work so beautifully together and I love that and that's why Mula Mula is on this well deserved position for Mula Mula so that's the number three moving along we've got number two. Oh, number two this beauty may I introduce you to Charlotte Tilbury. So this is Charlotte Tilbury's Scent of a Dream. 
and OMG this fragrance let me show you so it comes in the box and it's well pre beautifully presented like that and obviously it's got the balls so you open it up and uh, look at that I just wanted to show you the box so it comes like that and obviously that satin very elegant love that and anyone who knows me knows how much I appreciate good presentation and that's the box it comes in so and obviously scent of a dream and it says the key to attraction so that's the box opening up like that it's such and then obviously inside just opens up like that and obviously the bottle sits in so you pull that one out like that and the bottle slides in so quite lovely packaging it's like a queen on a throne that's oh look at that so how gorgeous is this presentation this bottle is one of my favorite bottles in my collection without a doubt scent of a dream love that so the cup just comes off such a nice bottle can you hear that <laughs> it could make good uh, anyway such a lovely bottle so scent of a dream by charlotte tilby comes in at number two this fragrance is here because deservingly so and i think this is one of the underappreciated fragrances so to speak because this fragrance is so so good and do you know what let's just spray it a little bit i'm wearing something already <sighs> do you know how luxury smells <laughs> that is how that smells and this again is it's got a vibe about it like middle eastern you know the from the middle east do you know the fragrances from the middle east the, they like woods and stuff and quite luxurious and just like this one quite luxurious and if you look at the notes you see why so on the notes we've got lemon on the middle on the top notes we've got lemon peach saffron we've got mandarin black pepper middle notes we've got tuberose jasmine frankincense we've got rose oil and then on the best notes we've got violet sandalwood amber soe super and then you've got tonka bean omg and on their website it's described as this fragrance attracts love light power positivity and sex and rightly so stunning it's sexy it's big girls things this fragrance is not for young girls it's not for teens they wouldn't appreciate it it's a mature sophisticated scent and i love this fragrance and for me i would say this is unisex definitely unisex and i know quite a few men that love this fragrance my husband does wear it it's stunning it's <sighs> ragually in a bottle sexiness you walk in and again the projection on this is monstrous you walk in you do not need to say hi i'm here richard you walk in heads will be turning like oh what's that smell what's that oh wow that's the that scent of a dream like it's boss fragrance it's mature big girl things big boy things it's not for the faint-hearted it's not for the light of hearts and because of how daring and how bored it is it's not for everyone so if you're just like you're easy going not too fussy not you know you wouldn't appreciate this it's for people that appreciate fragrances this is for people that appreciate the artistry in fragrance because you can see how the notes work together just amazing it's an amazing fragrance i love this and even in the winter i wear it quite a bit in the winter and this is sort of my second bottle because i had a smaller one as well so this is my second bottle and this fragrance will last you a good <laughs> 18 hours i would say like I've actually never worn this fragrance where I have to respray or stuff like that because 
I ritually, when I wear it, I have to shower just to wash it off. To wash it off if I want to wear something else because it's that good, like goes on forever. I mean, jackets that I've worn since winter, you've got to smell it now in the wardrobe. You're like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, you can still smell it. It's that good. And if I'm paying money for a good fragrance, I do not mind. And this, for the performance, it's really good value price wise like amazing so if you haven't tried it i would say get a sample check it out amazing fragrance and lastly but not the least we're getting to number one and what do we have on number one so number one we've got this bad boy <laughs> that we've got this beauty and this is Amouage Amouage Interrude Man Amouage Interrude Man <sighs> can we just take a moment for this bottle <sighs> and the cup <laughs> sorry <laughs> so excited just to quite a heavy cup as well that's the cup on it anyone who watches my videos or you've been on my Instagram I've spoken about this I love great presentation and OMG this bottle this is a gem in my collection how much I love you <laughs> come down come down this is too exciting are we at the end Yes, so Amage, let me just show you again. So this one again comes beautifully presented, just beautifully presented in this color of lovely painted box. So, and obviously opens up like that. And originally it's like the king on his throne. Look at that, the king sitting on his throne. How stunning. I love this fragrance. So, Amouage Interlude Man, OMG. This is another fragrance that is just wow. Like, wow. And this fragrance, again, it's dubbed the Blue Beast. Blue Beast. For a good reason. Performance on this one beast mode this beast goes on forever like you spray it it's there forever like until you wash it off and by the way the cup is magnetic as well so that's good anyway amouage interlude man omg this is a masculine commanding attention like you walk this fragrance you walk into a room they know the boss is there they know the boss is arrived you do not need to introduce yourself you do not need to say a word you walk in it's like everybody the boss is in that's how good it is the projection is amazing oh, the sillage oh, performance what can i say and again this is edp and this is a spicy oody fragrance it's very bold it's daring this fragrance i must say it's not for everyone because it's that bored not everyone will like this some have said it said they can inducing to them and obviously about the notes some have said they do not like the oregano in it they don't know what the oregano is doing in there <laughs> so but for me it's a love 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 the bottle love the packaging everything like i love this fragrance and just about the notes as well so we've got bergamot on the opening we've got bergamot we've got oregano there's pepper as well and then on the mid notes you've got amber you've got labdenum there's frankincense and then on the best notes we've got leather agarhood then there's uh agarhood smoke and there's patchouli and there's saddlewood and which reminds me, someone said, they can smell smoke. I'm like, I can't smell any smoke. Hi guys, sorry my camera died. Thank you so much for watching. So that's Amouage Interred Man on number one spot. I shall see you in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.